Okay, so the topic of this video is going to be how to read a chemical equation. And here is a chemical equation for photosynthesis. And by the end, I'm hoping you will be able to answer these four questions. So as we go through, we'll answer these together. Let's get started. Now, as I just mentioned, this is the equation for photosynthesis. And in this chemical equation, there are a variety of elements, elements from the periodic table. Again, what's an element? It's a substance that cannot be chemically broken down into anything simpler. You can say that elements are the main components of matter, and elements are determined by their atomic number, the number of protons that they possess. For instance, only the element carbon has six protons in it. Only the element um, oxygen, only the element oxygen has eight total protons. And when we look at this picture here of the periodic table, this is a list of the known elements. And so H for hydrogen, hydrogen is an element. C for carbon, carbon is an element. O for oxygen, oxygen is an element. AU for gold, gold is an element. None of, none of these elements can be broken down into uh, simpler uh, components. So if we come back to this equation right here, my hope is I've just highlighted question number one. I'm hoping we can scan over and answer question number one. I hope you've come to the realization that there are three elements in this chemical equation. I've just highlighted the C, C for carbon, that's one element. I've just highlighted the O's, O for oxygen, that's a second element. And I've just highlighted in green the H's, H for hydrogen, that's a third element. So there are three elements in this entire equation. Okay, so now, Let's focus on the equation in more detail. Notice there's an arrow in the middle. Okay, on the left of the arrow, these are what we call the reactants. These are gonna be the molecules that are gonna be input into photosynthesis. So on the left of the arrow, these are the reactants. On the right of the arrow, this is what are called the products. These are what's gonna be produced. These are the outputs. Another way to look at it, the left of the arrow is kinda of like the before and the right of the arrow is kind of like the after. And so let's actually look at this a little more closely. CO2, CO2 you might know as a molecule, that's one molecule of carbon dioxide. But notice how there's a six in front of the CO2. What that tells me is that that grouping right there is actually six molecules of carbon dioxide. Let's look at the H2O, water. H2O is one molecule of water. But notice there's a six in front. That tells me that little grouping there is six molecules of water. Let's look at the O2 on the right-hand side of the arrow. O2, that's one molecule of atmospheric oxygen. But the six right there tells me that there are six molecules of oxygen in this equation. And now look at the final part, the C6H12O6. That right there is one molecule of glucose. Notice how there's no number before. So that just means it's one molecule of glucose. So now I'm hoping you can answer questions two and three. For question number two, how many total molecules can be seen in this equation? Just add them up right there. Add up the six plus the six plus the six plus the one, and you come to 19 molecules. For question number three, if we're just looking at the product molecules, Add up the six molecules of oxygen plus the one molecule of glucose, and you have an answer of seven molecules. Okay, now for number four. When we focus our attention on the atoms, carbon dioxide, we just mentioned, carbon dioxide is one molecule. However, it's one molecule made from three atoms. It's made from one carbon atom and it's also made from two oxygen atoms. So there's a total of three atoms in carbon dioxide. But again, there's the six in front. So there's six molecules and every molecule is three atoms in size. Six times three is 18. Six CO2 combines for 18 atoms. Let's look at the water. Water is another molecule made from three atoms. It's made from two hydrogen atoms and also one oxygen atom. 
But look at the six in front. Again, there are six total molecules, and every molecule is made from three atoms, so six times three, that grouping right there is a total of 18 atoms. My hope is that you can do the others and then come to the answer of question number four. So I'm gonna pause, uh, pause the video and try to uh, complete the rest. I'm gonna go over the answers in three, two, one. So I hope you came up with 72 atoms. And if, and if you're not quite sure, then let's talk out the rest. O2, O2 is made from two atoms. It's a small molecule. It's only made from two atoms, two oxygen atoms to be specific. And then the six in front, six total molecules, and every molecule is made from two atoms. So six times 12, or six times two, excuse me, six times two is 12 atoms. And then when we look at the glucose, the C6H12O6, you can see that there are 24 atoms in that one molecule. There are six carbon atoms, and there are also 12 hydrogen atoms, and there are also six oxygen atoms. So that adds up to 24 total atoms. And so that's how we got the 72 atoms. Just add up the 18 plus 18 plus 12 plus 24 for 72 atoms. Now, what you also might notice is that there's 36 atoms on the left of the arrow, 36 atoms of the reactants, and there's also 36 atoms in the products. That's not a coincidence. You are always going to see the amount of reactant atoms equal to the amount of product atoms. This is because of the law of conservation of matter, which states that matter cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can change forms. So the atoms of the reactants changed forms. They changed forms from carbon dioxide and water. They changed forms into oxygen and glucose. That's what happens during photosynthesis, is the molecules that are involved change forms. Wrap this up by, again, reading the equation. This is how you would, uh, you know, like how you would read it, is you would say six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water will yield or will react to make six molecules of oxygen and one molecule of glucose. And so that's how you would read the chemical equation in this case of photosynthesis. Other examples are performed in the exact same way. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.